This video is sponsored by CI Hub. So we are in InDesign here, and I'm looking at an InDesign document. It's very exciting. But I noticed this image over here. This is uh, this little fish image. Let's go ahead and zoom in on him. And I did a Command-2 or a Control-2 on Windows. And I've got this image, and I'm sure that I've used this image before, but I don't know which, uh, which files. Where have I used that before? In some other InDesign file, I'm sure. Um, how am I going to find what other InDesign files I've used this image? Uh, well, you can't do it in InDesign. InDesign just doesn't have that feature. There's no way of saying find all of the uh, the InDesign files that has this image. But there is another tool that you have at your disposal that you can do this trick. And the tool is called Adobe Bridge. Now, I don't want to go too far into Bridge, but the, I will say that there are some incredible features. Uh, I think I think Anne Marie is going to show another Bridge tip as well. But let me just jump over to Bridge. Uh, bridge is a uh, must have bridge around here somewhere. There we go. Bridge. Give me bridge. There, there we go. Bridge. Um, um, bridge is a free tool from, from Adobe. And I, when I say free, it's not just, not just free if you have Creative Cloud. As far as I know, it's free. You can, you can just download it. You can create your own free Adobe ID and download Bridge. Uh, so it's free, and Bridge is like this great uh, it's like a, almost like a dam. I mean, it's, it's a, a digital asset manager of all of your files on your hard drive. It's a very cool way of, of keeping track of all your files on your hard drive. And Bridge has a way of looking inside files for stuff. And that way of looking inside is metadata. So how are we going to find that fish image inside a, another InDesign file somewhere on my hard drive? And the answer is we go to Bridge, we navigate to the folder that we're pretty sure has the images. In this case, I'm just going to look inside this one folder. I could search my whole hard drive, but it would take a while. So I'm, I'm, I've filtered it down. I'm navigating just to the folder that I want to search in. Then I'll do a Command F or Control F on, window to, uh, on Windows to bring up the Find dialog box. And I'm going to say look inside this folder for uh, anything that's an InDesign file. I want to limit it just to InDesign files, and I can do that by changing the criteria to document type equals InDesign. I'll just grab InDesign file here. So I'm only going to look for InDesign files. Then I want to say find the ones that have uh, an image that has that, that, that fish image. Um, there's no option for image in here. You'll, you can look around in here, but there's nothing in here that says the name of an image is. But all the way at the bottom, there is something called all metadata. And I'm going to search all the metadata in all my InDesign files for anything that contains the word fish. That's all I'm going to do. Just find me anything where it says fish in there. Or you could type the exact name of the file, but I happen to know this one has the word fish in it and only do it if all the criteria are met. So search for InDesign documents that have some metadata that says fish. Let's so try it out. One, two, three. The file names of linked images are part of the metadata? The file names of linked images are hiding inside the metadata. Okay, sorry. Isn't wow. that amazing? Yeah, no, it's great. Click find, boom, one, two, three. All of these InDesign documents have that fish document. There's one, the big fish document you can just see. And I can double click on that and it opens up in InDesign. And I can look inside the links panel. There it is, the fish.ai uh, file, exactly the same image as the one that I was using. Oh, that, is, here. that is very cool. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. What about if you had the word fish as a keyword? Now that's a good point. Content. That's a good, It would find, it does find fish in other instances, if I go back to Bridge, like I don't even know what this document over here is. I'm ah. scared to look. Here, this, this image has a fish image. It's not searching the text, is it? I don't That's think so. We better go look. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to update the images here. Somewhere in this document, there is... Oh, there's a, that's actually a different fish image. Look at that. Now, because I just looked for fish, it's looking for anything that has fish. This one is a different fish image. I can jump to it and zoom in. Oh, it looks the same, actually, but it's actually a different image. Uh, you can see the coloring is a little bit oh. different. 
So there you go. You can use Bridge to search for images through the metadata. That's it for this episode of InDesign Secrets. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials. Thanks for learning with us.